Now that port was holed by a putter from Scotty Cameron that cost one and a half thousand pound. Yep, one and a half grand. We're gonna take a closer look at it. I want your opinions on this one. Would you ever spend one and a half thousand pounds on a putter? I'm gonna show you two very limited edition putters. One of only a thousand of each models worldwide. We've got two of them here at Four Golf Chester. A little close look at them. And uh, I think we need some feedback on this one. Who fancies a 17 minute rant? And I did say it was the last video of the year, but it's not. So uh, yeah, I've just been down at Four Golf Chester, thought I'd done my final video of the year, and then walked in to find someone told me that they've got two putters that are one and a half thousand pound each from Scotty Camera. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't know putters were that expensive. Limited edition putters for that. I mentioned on that little clip there that you've seen. Only 1,000 of the Holiday 18. Holiday and 18 refers to the year. They've brought one of these out every, I think there's 18 models of the Holiday. And then you've got Hugs and Kisses. Uh, and again, this is 18 versions of this, as I understand. Um, 1,250 pieces of the Hugs and Kisses, so you've got a little bit of uh, more accessibility on that one. Only 1,000 of their H18. What do you think of them? What do you think of them in terms of looks? I mean, my immediate thought is after you get over the wow the price thing, it's like take a closer look and stunning pieces of engineering. I mean, one thing about Scotty Cameron you've got to say is that anyone who's took take a close look at their mill putters, the way they're put together, it's a fine piece of engineering and they are absolutely, uh, they're just, like I said, a piece of art. And it, it, is that what they are? Because uh, I'm going to show you an absolute bargain at the end of all this. Um, uh, when we compare it to the one and a half thousand pound pieces, but are they that? Are they a piece of art? Is it something that you stick on your wall? Is it something you put under lock and key for 20 years and hope that the value increases? Are the Scotty Cameron collectors out there that per perhaps help me out on this one? Comment down below and tell me, uh, yeah, what is the what is the whole idea behind them? Because you don't put them in the bag, surely. Surely you can't game them. One and a half thousand pounds worth of uh, putter. I'd be really nervous to leave that unattended while I went and had a pint in the clubhouse I'd be a little nervous I'd be a little nervous about getting a scratch or a mark on it um, albeit like I said they're absolutely lovely the Holiday 18 if you have a look at the colours that are in it it resembles very much a, a Porsche design from a motorsport um, Porsche car from for some years um, I don't know what you think of it like I said and then the hugs and kisses one for me I'm a bit I, I don't know I'm, I'm not a fond of uh, that bright pink uh, it's a bit too feminine for me. I thought it was a girl's putter, if I'm honest with you. Very old-fashioned attitude, I know. Uh, but I couldn't get put, couldn't put that one in the bag. I wouldn't want it on the wall either. The H18 one, I actually really like. But have a look at this one that I'm going to throw up some images for now. Um, this is another putter they've got in. This is the Concept X range uh, from Scotty Cameron. These are readily available, so uh, don't panic over these. You can get all of these pretty much all year round, I think. Uh, 500 pound a piece, these, so absolute bargain. Once again, I mean, if I, if honestly, if I had the choice out of three putters, I'd be choosing this. This is the CX2. There's two models, CX1, CX2. This is CX2. I think it's an absolute stunner. 
what a putter this is and again close up looks at it it's so so nice i would actually like i said on purely looks i haven't even i mean like i said this is no means a performance review i've no idea uh, how they help you perform in uh, you'd want at that money it to stick it in the hole for you every time i would think or a high percentage but not a performance review simply just all about aesthetics and admiring the engineering i think i think that's the way you've got to look at it There's two questions we've got to answer i mentioned at the beginning a would any of you buy a scotty cameron putter as an investment for one and a half thousand pound and then maybe would you buy the 500 pound putter and perhaps consider gaming it and overall just what do you think of these putters what's your opinion what is your feedback has the golfing world gone mad or are we talking about a piece of art a collector's item that is all about investment and uh, you hope that that value increases is that the way that you purchase these kind of things who knows what i am told is that we had to do this video very very quickly because they arrived in a few days ago and i'm told they'll be sold very very quick as well uh, they don't last long these things people are after them they're hot pieces of property and i'll be out of four golf chester very very quickly so there you go thought i'd have a little bit of a chat and it is only a very quick chat like i said i thought i'd gone for the holiday season back for a very short short video but it gives me another opportunity to say perhaps in a little bit better mood than i was the other day happy christmas to everybody as ever thanks for watching have a great great time enjoy yourselves be careful maybe get a bit of golfing over the new year and uh, i'll see you maybe in the new year who knows something else might bring me in front of the camera i just can't resist and i'm going to chat with everybody as ever thank you for watching thank you for all your comments all your likes all your everyone that dislikes as well thank you for disliking the videos absolutely love that and uh, we'll talk again very very soon have a good time